Hello and today I'm showing you a way of creating a line that will be having a facade that can rotate itself and has certain parameters in order for it to um, make a rotation as well as having um, the lines always be in a certain way so we have like a certain shape that goes when you close the way. <coughs> Excuse me. So the thing we're gonna do, we're gonna start a new document here and um, just draw this out pretty, quick, pretty quickly. So we're having a line and we have another line and there will be certain um, connecting points between those lines that, that may vary and we have to define those points which are variable and here we just stay the same in those points, like a, a normal uh, division. And then those middle points, they will be, or the, the, the way to there, we have lines that are in the middle, and those will be rotated as well. So we're having basically those lines will be rotating, thus resulting in this rotating rotary sequence thingy. So we just start very simply off, we just use a point and we're just gonna set this point here somewhere and we're gonna use the line SDL tool in order for it to um, create a length and also a direction as well. We're gonna do just some parameters here and the next important thing is we're gonna um, need to divide the, well, we're gonna maybe immerse first, we're gonna move the curve as well, a little bit up, up. And this will be our curve that will be um, the combination between those two curves as well. It has to be like the same length, actually doesn't matter if it needs to be the same length, but in our case it is. So yeah, the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna um, shatter the curve that we have but the parameters here are very important. So the parameters will be taken from zero to one. So we need to create a range um, that will have certain amount of steps that we have to define as the amount of rot like rotary thingies that we have. And um, we're gonna use a graph in order for it to be used um, like more throughout, th throughout really the whole project. So yeah, so we, here we have the um, the whole things basically the whole um, way how it's going to be shattered so I'm going to use this here and we're going to just point on curve to see how it's going to be how it was shattered so as you see it was like sh shattered in a certain way and that's the thing that's the way how we want it in this case we just maybe at the iconic curve um, so we have it uh, the conic curve graph so we have a very normal distribution of it. Um, same thing we're going to do is we're going to divide the curve as well here um, with a fixed parameter. And now we have the same amount of points that we want to use as well. Here we have well 11 points, here we have 12 points so we might need to um, do a division. Actually I think we have actually the correct amount of segments if we're gonna use a shutter here as well. So it's gonna try that. Use the curves, use the parameters here as well. And we have, yeah, perfect. So 11 curve like elements as well. So next thing we're gonna do is um, we are creating a line between those two points. So we're gonna use endpoints, both sides here. And we're going to rotate those along those, but we're gonna need to use the line command in order for to connect those two points firstly, like this. And um, yeah, see it's worked quite well. And um, we're going to rot we're gonna use um, another division of this curve. Then we're gonna use actually new numbers later as well for this one. And we're gonna flip the matrix in order for it to not connect those points, but to connect those points and then explode them as well. So we're gonna use those points, flip the matrix, use a pole line, 
use the vertices in order to connect them and now I explode those because we're going to rotate them so they're exploded and we're going to use the point on curve command as well so we have each of the single points on this curve basically I'm going to disable the other things first and now we're going to uh, rotate the points like the lines of the points in those things so we're going to use the geometry of the segments the plane will be the points and the angle will be as well a series that we use from one of the very early beginning things you might actually actually use minus one here as well so now we have our things rotating but we need to obviously going to increase decrease the amount and you see there the last one is double so we need to do a subtraction of one in order for it to work properly nice nice and neat and now we have our rotating devices basically as you see here you maybe like put this in the real numbers it's a little bit higher nice and now we're going to disable the other things and we're going to flip the matrix again in order for them to be not kind of like this but like this again and we're going to loft the surface as well so nice so here we have our rotating things that you can use very very easily and um, obviously you can use the parameters and change them change the amount of row trace that you're going to have change the length of the whole thing change the height uh, you can change from the kind of curve to things um, as well as the normal rotation of it as well um, so yeah I guess we're going to maybe like do a very nice facade with that Need look a bit more rotation here. So yeah, I think that looks pretty good. So we have our little like standard rotation. Maybe we can even, if we, if I like, let me think for a second, because we're having. If we're gonna change certain other parameters we might be able to do it so it will be changed in a different way but I'm not sure actually if this can work out or not so well doesn't look like it but I think for now this works pretty well and let's just try to bake it and if you want to make like a small visualization maybe this planet curve uh, surface and let's see if we also enable the sunlight and put the manual control on and make something kind of like this and let's see what we ray will do with that one and maybe I'd also need to change certain video parameters here as well Maybe not a progressive one, but just like more like a CPU power. And <laughs> it seems to be that my yeah seems to be that the window's missing. Yeah. But anyway, well, enjoy the day. I hope it was useful. And yeah, see ya.